I'm Laura and I'm from Brown Bird and Company. Um, so we are camper van converters and we also sell Omnia ovens. And I also work for Quirky Campers as head of onboarding for new camper vans and owners. So I um, chose van life initially. I wanted to do a 12 month Europe adventure in the van. Um, and I saved and saved and saved. I was doing a full-time job, uh, working really long hours, um, earning very good money, which allowed me to save. Um, and it was only ever going to be 12 months, but I, I just loved the freedom um, to roam and having like more time to do what I loved, which is hiking and climbing. Um, and because you haven't got so many overheads um, with van life, you, you know, you've got more spare time and spare cash to actually go and have adventures and not be sort of fixed anywhere um, and it's a lot less stressful. I love the fact that you choose your view every day that uh, one of the big things for me is being able to choose who my neighbours are so if I'm parked up somewhere and somebody comes along that you don't like the look of you can move and you can't do that with a house um, so I just love the fact that you've got your house with you and, and the other thing that's great is you never forget anything because everything's with you. So when you were in a house before, you could leave stuff and forget it. But I, and I still think like that. Sometimes we'll drive away and I'll think, oh my God, have we got this? And it's like, of course we have, it's here. <laughs> I think the most challenging thing for me is perhaps not feeling 100% secure all of the time. Um, I mean, we have really good security features on this van, um, but you kind of your home is with you and there's everything in it that's quite a scary thing when you go off for the day um, and it's I'm, I'm actually quite a light sleeper so there's always that thing in my mind that you might get moved on if you are camping so I think that makes me even more of a light sleeper because I'm sort of listening out for anything that might happen but for me that's just a small price to pay for freedom. Uh, maybe the fact that we're all female converters and that we actually do virtually all of the jobs ourselves there's just a couple of bits that we sort of farm out that we don't particularly like doing which is fitting a diesel heater in a tank and fitting the gas tank but everything else we do I think there seems to be a lot of assumption out there that we get most of it done by somebody else when that's not the case at all we really enjoy it and we like kind of learning new skills um, so yeah. Uh, Jackie, <laughs> uh, she's really shy and is, doesn't like being in front of the camera, hence it's just me today. <laughs> I think from a, a sexuality point of view, I think the van life community is very open and inclusive. Uh, I think where perhaps we've felt there's maybe some prejudice is more about gender um, and kind of the assumption that we, I don't know, haven't built vans to a particular standard or we don't really know what we're doing. Um, that, that was quite, it's not massive, but on certain social platforms we have experienced that um, and it's really frustrating. Um, but yeah, I, def I definitely think the van life community is very open and we've always felt very welcomed and we get asked lots of questions from all types of people, which is lovely and everybody's given us help as well. I've been very lucky that my whole life, I don't really feel like I have been stereotyped, but I do know a lot of um, LGBT people that have been, um, and it's pretty rubbish. Um, in terms of a van life journey, there's definitely countries that I would think twice about being sort of open in public, if you're outwardly gay, um, places like Morocco maybe, I would definitely think twice if I went there about walking down the street holding hands, for instance. Um, so yeah, I think that side of things it definitely still needs improvement. I know everything's getting better and better each year, but there's definitely still a lot of prejudice out there, in, particularly in certain countries. I think for me, one of the things is be less assuming uh, that I've got a male partner um, and that, you know, just keep it open and don't just automatically think that I've got a husband or a boyfriend. Um, and the other thing is less assuming that um, we didn't build this van um, and that we, we don't have the skills or the tools or whatever to actually do the same job as a man.
Brown Bird and Company and Quirky Campers are proud to support Pride this month and every month. <laughs>